And we had a lot of naysayers. We had a lot. We had a lot of them, friends and family, a lot of them. Uh, and of course, and, and logically, I understand. Here it is, you come in the bottom of a divorce, you ready to jump right into a marriage. Uh, you marrying somebody older than you, 12 year age gap, this guy that you met on Instagram, right? <laughs> I mean, go figure. And then just different factors, just all these different things. Y'all don't really know each other. You're far man. away. You're all far away. All these different things, but I knew, I knew that she was the one for me because people always say, how did you know? Because, and I say this until Jesus come back, she had 80% of everything I was looking for in a woman. Nobody is perfect, right? Everybody has issues. Yes. Some people got sandwich bag size issues. Some people got trash bag issues. It just depends on what you want, willing to roll with. Mm -hmm. And that, that 80%, I wasn't willing to sacrifice you to try to find 90. Because that's where a lot of people go wrong. They're like, well, I really like her, but I'm going to try to hold her, keep her on the side and see if I can get somebody else who might have 90. And you may not find that 90. Yeah, and then you lose the 80 trying to find a 90. Now, now you, you don't have nobody. It. Yeah, now you're all alone, right. you know, trying to be greedy. Mm. Um, so that's, so yeah, being so that was- Being greedy will get you nowhere. Being greedy will get you nowhere. Greed is, greed is a terrible thing. So that was, so I was like, I'm I'm good. I don't need to, I don't need to swipe right or swipe left. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. And actually, I didn't even use no dating apps, actually, because we met on Instagram. <laughs> so I didn't, I, you know, I wasn't on Bumble and Tinder and all them, them you things. You had no idea about POF. Nothing. Never had any. I, I ain't know what Plenty of Fish was. She was talking about Plenty of Fish. I'm like, what is that? He's very green. <laughs> very green. I, yeah. But I mean, once upon a time in my life, I was single, contrary to popular belief. Even though I spent half of my life like Mary, that's been half of my life, you know. So when I'm giving you this stuff, I'm giving you some, some real game. Are you tired of dating the same person, just different faces? Are you tired of people wasting your time in this whole dating process? Do you desire to marry one day? I created this five-part video series entitled Dating Intentionally, Five Ways to Know they are the one for you. You can get it now in the comments section below. You will see it is five, the number five, ways to know that podia.com. I created this five part video series with you in mind. Now let's get back into today's podcast episode. Um, and then we got married, or we went to Arizona to marry because yes. you came out to visit. Mm -hmm. and we we did um set up uh like we had an actual wedding in a church but mm -hmm. it was just us it was me you the photographer shout out shout out to od yes if you watching this od in the building shout out Council taking our man. amazing pictures that went viral yeah. that's a whole nother story oh we'll my god yeah the viral pictures yeah. we're not gonna talk about it right now no viral I'm pictures oh yeah we'll talk, we'll talk about it later yeah it went viral in 2017 that's crazy <laughs> shout out to od yeah yeah big man <laughs> big man things and then um we had our pastor. Oh, shout and out to past, the pastor. Shout out to Pastor Bland, my yes. mentor, uh, who actually helped get me started in whole podcasting. He was the first man that actually let me rock with his studio. And uh, and that's a whole different story because that was the old podcast. But shout out to him as well. Yes. And, and I remember him telling me, he said, Sean, he said, if you picked her, then I know you good because I know you don't mess with anybody. Now, this is me. This is just my life experience. I ain't going to say this is my truth. This is my story. This is your story. This is my story. True story. But when you, and, and all glory to God, right? But when people know your track record and, and the way you move, for him to tell me that, that, oh, if you chose her, she's got to be special. Because he knew I wasn't out here running the streets like that. He knew if I was going to be with somebody, I was going to be committed that whole thing so he was like no nah. it's like man i trust you and he's saying this as a pastor 
And I was like, man, that meant the world to me. So shout out to, to Pastor Bland. So mm, yeah, it was amazing. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful mm-hmm. ceremony with just he and I, which I'm not a big person who's big on flashy things or anything. And I remember telling him when we said we were going to get married, he was like, so you want a big wedding? I was like, no. And he was confused. <laughs> I remember that. You're like, I don't want a big wedding. Yeah, I, I wanted want it no to just wedding. be us. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, anybody who wants a big wedding good you know that's for you and people who want a small wedding that's okay too like because you do want people who are at your wedding that are in agreement you know with your decisions and you know who are going to help bless your union Mm -hmm. um so I think it's important to have people around you who are going to continue to bless your union and you know they're going to be rooting for you yeah yeah because people look go to your wedding and then talk about you after they leave after they ate your food and didn't even give you a gift yeah and they'll be talking about you yeah and I, I mean I wish hindsight 2020 getting ready by myself awful um I that was a horrible experience <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to call spare I was like grandma my grandmother she was a speech seamstress I was like I need you to give me some power to help me get this dress up in the back <laughs> Oh, Father Jesus, come on, I need you to get me get this stuff. Because I did not know how I was going to zip up that dress by myself. And there was nothing but men there. <laughs> so I struggled. Yeah. But, you know, you did it. God is good. Okay. And he got me through it. Okay. Yeah, you and did. I was able to <laughs> zip up my dress and get dressed somehow. And um, I was able to, you know, be good. and. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, she put it off she did it got it was, dressed by herself at her wedding how many of y'all can say that yes it was it was, yeah. it was a lot it yeah. was a lot and then um we ended up going to vegas afterwards we for our vegas. honeymoon and that Drove was out nice vegas. yeah we were just you know driving our you know road trip together road trip yeah, yeah, it was nice yeah. and just enjoyed each other's company. And it was just easier not having a bunch of people and having to be like, okay, That's guys, true. we're yeah. sneaking we're off to go. go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you we, know, it doesn't explain it. nothing. We could just leave and yeah. do everything on our own terms and didn't have to feed a whole bunch of people at the yeah. reception. That's right. You know, uh, but it would have been nice to have, I'm not gonna lie, you know, hindsight's 2020, 20, it would have been nice to at least have my mother or somebody there. Or even, you know, some of my siblings there to help me get dressed for sure. And then, you know, just have a family come and, you know, help be in agreement with everything that we had. But it was just cheaper. I wanted a house. I wanted to. There were so many things I wanted to do. And I was like, we didn't. I I didn't have the money for a big old wedding. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to spend all that money. Um, But if you have the money, girl, you know, do what you do. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather have bought some property, you know. Yeah. Um. But after that, we went to Vegas, had a Vegas, good time. Out in Vegas. <laughs> yeah. That was our second time in Vegas, like within three or four months. Too. Yeah, yeah. We like Vegas. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Spent a lot of money there. Mm. But that was, yeah, and that was that was a heck of an experience. We did a whole bunch of stuff, had fun, kicked it. And we still married. We still were separated, separated because I had to go back home and she had to go back home. So we still had to finish this process within a, uh, maybe like another five months and stuff yeah, like that. You didn't move to Texas. And that was a tough decision trying to figure out who was going to move yeah, where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's another one time, too. That's another, yeah. yeah. You know, he didn't end up getting custody of our daughter. Mm-hmm. And so um, it just made more sense for him to move to Texas. Um, didn't get custody at the time. At the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, she... A year or two later, she ended up living with us, and um, he had all his babies in one house, causing yeah. chaos. Yeah. Um, but uh, living apart and being married, mm-hmm. very difficult. Um, that was a, another big transition that we had. That was a tough transition for us, and mm-hmm. it was a struggle. But God's grace, we got through it. God is so good. Mm-hmm. He got us through all of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah got through I have to that. give him the glory and all of that <laughs> yeah we got through that and uh eventually i ended up moving to texas so yeah and i think the biggest thing was because some people struggle with that too well who's going to move where mm-hmm. and for our situation it was that her family was here in texas i couldn't see her moving to arizona and being away from her family when i just 
it was just me there mm-hmm. yeah, and trying to get custody of my daughter and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? It's better that I just move there and then I'll, I'll adjust accordingly. Yeah. You know, so and, and that's how it worked. So everything, everything worked out uh, for our good. Eventually, I, I like it here. So it took me a little while to get used to. But Texas. yeah. And I never understood. I had a coworker. He used to, when we used to talk, he's always like already. And I was like, <laughs> what is already like? Are you already done? All Are we right. already done with work? Is that what you're saying already? I didn't get it. No. And I came home, remember, I came home from work one day. I asked her, I was like, what does already mean? <laughs> I was like, wow, that's, this is, okay, this is my baptism into Texas. But anyway. Texas is amazing. Yeah, right. So. Texas all day. Yeah. And then we had, we, we, uh, I, I ended up relocating. It'll come in here. February. February. 2018. Uh, 2018. And then. You, you got pregnant a couple months later a couple weeks later or something like that i think i think i got pregnant that same night <laughs> that same 